What's up guys? We're gonna get into a channel message. Your signs that you're aligned to me are bumblebees, butterflies, snow, and 949, or 4494, or if you're seeing 444. So with this one, it's um I feel like the energy is coming in and it's gonna be moving with more peace and understanding that no matter what type of environment you're in, no matter how shitty it is or how amazing, how peaceful it is, whatever, you need to understand that your peace doesn't lie in this situation. It lies inside of you. Wherever your mental state is, wherever your emotional state is, however volatile you are, your peace is there. So if you're wanting to have a more fulfilling life, the first thing that you are about or in the process of being taught. Some of you are have started the process already. Some of you are about to walk into the process of learning how to cultivate and maintain your peace. Now, I talk about this a lot. Like my manifestations always include peace because I hate having just I don't want like to be scatterbrained. I don't like to be scattered in my feelings like bruh. So when I say maintaining your peace, I feel like sometimes we go into a place where you want to be like, oh, you know, I'm making these strides, I'm making these achievements, I'm fulfilling this part, I'm fulfilling my part in society, I'm stepping into these different realms. But today, spirit is kind of trying to reel you back into you and trying to acknowledge the fact that you can be you in those environments, regardless if it makes other people uncomfortable or not. You can fulfill your truth every day in the way that you walk through the world, being the whole version of you and not being remorseful about it. When you go into a job to work, into a role that you create, you've stepped into in some type of relationship or situation, remember that you are you embodying the role, not the role putting you on, right? The role is not putting you on and wearing you through the process. And sometimes we allow our ego to put ourselves, we allow our ego to assume the role as self. And then we feel boxed in. We feel like we're not going toward what we want, et cetera, et cetera. And sometimes those are telltale signs. It's time to make a pivot. But for a lot of people I'm talking to right now, specifically, specifically you, you know, you, okay. It's not about, it's about who you're being right now in your everyday life, who are you being in every situation, in every conversation? Are you abandoning yourself to relate to other people? Are you abandoning your truth to make conversation? Now, look, I know I'm a psychic medium. When I get into a situation, a, 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 a conversation, I know that I'm not going to go deep into a conversation on spirituality with someone who doesn't believe in that type of thing. Does that make sense? But that doesn't mean that I have to deny myself, who I am, what makes me feel like me in order to relate to that person because that person is also a reflection of me. Everything I see in them is a reflection of me, even if I don't like it, right? And if I think that person is a cool person, cool, cool. But at the end of the day, you should be able to see the other person on the other side of you as a human, right? And that humans have needs. And sometimes we need to get those needs met. But it doesn't mean that you have to suffer in silence to be somebody that you're not, right? Be you. Be you. Okay? Set boundaries, okay? And understand that 
sometimes we get really scared, especially in financial times like this, where we feel like we have to be doing A, B, and C, or else said negative thing is going to happen. But the more consistent you are with your behavior and the more you can show up and be yourself and be consistent, you'll never regret ever being yourself and it'll allow other people to see you as the human that you are and either choose to love you, choose to be your friend, choose to favor you, or choose to deny the perfection in you that they can't see within themselves. And at those moments, instead of people pleasing, instead of trying to make them like you, love them anyway, but just move the fuck on. Just just move the fuck on, okay? Like, let them be that way because that's the way that they interact with themselves, not you. You are just a personification of what they're actually experiencing in life. And with those people, what do we do? We set boundaries and we show up. If it's a work situation, you cannot excommunicate your boss unless you quit your job or you move departments, right? So understand where they're at. Understand who they are. Understand you don't have to take that bullshit ass, fucked up shit, personal. All these people in here who are sad as fuck, you can show up and be grateful that you have work. A lot of people don't have work right now. You can show up and not think about not having work and start thinking about how can you take this and create sustainability with it. Stop allowing yourself to go into dark places and not have a way out. Sometimes we dive into the depths on accident unprepared. And when we get down there in that ugly ass shit, we start woeing as me. We start being sad. We start being like, why the fuck do I have to be here? When everybody else or perceivably everybody else is out there living their best life. That's not the fucking truth. You could be up here living your best life too. And it ain't that many people jumping off a ledge talking about I'm about to live my best life. Just to let you know. If you want to do it, be methodical and strategic. Life is strategic now. In this climate, life is strategic. You can't be doing things willy-nilly like some of us think that it still works that way. And that's okay. Be strategic. Come up with a plan. If you want to exit a job, plan your exit. The fuck? Stop just up and quitting shit and then be broke as fuck. About to get kicked out of your spot. You know what I'm saying? Think this shit through, bro. Think it through, sis. You know what I'm saying? Get that shit together. How much money do you need to sustain? How long is it going to take you to possibly find a job? Do you have enough saved up in your bank account to sustain you that many months? What are your monthly expenses? Do you have any other stream of income that you could create while you're at this job so that you don't have to be here? You just want to be there. Start making your moves now. While you got that feeling, that itch, it's time to make a transition. Some of y'all have been blessed, okay, to jump the fuck off the ledge and land safely on a pillow somewhere. But most people jump off a ledge and, and hit hard ass ground. Okay? Stop, stop willy nilly and shit. Make the strategic plan and move. And it's all gonna be, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be sweet. So take your time, plan it out. Okay? If you if you gotta leave then leave. But if you don't have to leave, if you don't want to leave and it's just uncomfortable, it's time to start shifting your perspective and maybe 
find a different position in the same 